Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on the new save file. We are going to jump in again and we are probably going to do another challenge here. I might go for a vanilla challenge this time round and see exactly what we might want to unlock. Uh, tech point five, really good. Epic Fetus is of course pretty good too. Uh, Golden Hearts, Relax Pill, the D8, Kidney Stone, Blank plus Clear Rune. Laz bleeds, Maggie's pill, charge key. Honestly, charge key is real good. Um, Spirit sword is un unlockable now. Let's try and get the charged key. I I think they're very very valuable and they show up reasonably often. So let's try and get them. I think we say play as Isaac here, and I think Pokemon's isn't that just the one where we have like an instantly charging um, capture ball, whatever the hell that item's called. Friend friendly ball. What the hell is this item called? I genuinely cannot remember what this item's called. Is it called Friendly Ball? I feel like it's called Friendly Ball. But that might be just me making this up off the top of my head. Anyways, how is everybody on this joyous day? So we also start with the ability to charm, which is kind of nice. Excuse me? Did I just throw that directly over that enemy's head? Can you not, please? Okay, I may be getting confused... Maybe in this challenge we can't capture stuff and we just throw out random enemies. Because that is sure as hell seeming like what this is. That's definitely what this is. Okay. A little bit different than what I was expecting. But kind of nice. Kind of nice. I, I thought we'd be capturing enemies. But turns out, no, no, no. We are not capturing anything. We are just, um... Throwing out some fellas. Uh, I don't believe we have item rooms, but I always owe it to myself to check. I'm pretty sure the icon at the left with a little trophy in the X mark means that there's no item rooms. But I, I, for some reason, always have to, like, just make sure. I have to be sure of it myself. Now, this guy's actually kind of a good one to have because he fires explosives. Now, they are a little bit random, so they're not going to always be useful. But I accept him for who he is. But yeah, with Fiend Folio... This might be kind of good, because we're going to get, like, some wacky enemies. I mean, this guy would be good if, uh, like, there's an explosion. Lovely. And the thing is, as well, the explosive little bubbles, I'm going to guess they can't deal damage to me, but they, like, kind of hang about a little bit, so they, they, they also might. We'll find out, I guess. That was pretty beautiful. He seems to like shooting over to the right there. I don't, don't know why that is. Okay, there you go. He's decided to shoot at something this time. And we get ourselves pressure gauge, which I can't remember what the pressure gauge does. I'm just going to take it. It might be good. It might be awful. I guess it's all going to be an adventure for us. It's all going to be an adventure. But uh, in, in the theming with this challenge, what's uh, your favorite Pokemon? And if you don't like Pokemon, what's a character from your childhood that you really enjoy? I, I, like, I know I don't have to, but I always like adding in these alternate scenarios to the question of the day. Because there's quite a lot of people out there that never played Pokemon as a kid. Or don't really like Pokemon, so... I don't want you guys to be shut off from the world of uh, the question of the day, potentially. Um, but yeah, what's your favourite Pokemon? Mine has and always will be forever, Waylord. My beautiful, beautiful Waylord baby. Um, simply for the fact that as a child, I had a very strange... A very strange interaction with Pokemon games. I played them on the Game Boy, uh, Game Boy Advanced, and um, I had my dad buy me a few of the games for my birthday, I believe it was. And um, he just bought, he, like, he wanted to get them a bit cheaper than going to the shop and getting them, because obviously they were new at the time, and that's fair enough. Um, and he got them, uh, like, secondhand off of eBay, which was completely fine. Uh, monsters may drop a spinning penny on death before to their max health. Uh, the spinning coin can be picked up or will explode after three seconds. Okay, sounds good to me. Um... If the shops, that is. I don't know if the shops. Um, yeah, and and so I got um, I got a few copies off of eBay, and some strange stuff happened with that. For one, my uh, my copy of I believe it was Pokemon Yellow, I believe was uh, in completely in Japanese. Um, so that was great, <laughs> and and I, like I'm sure there was a way to change it. I couldn't find it. Um, so I, I did actually play through most of the game because to be honest, even as a kid, you don't really need the language all that much to sort of play it, really. Um, you do in a, in a few scenarios, but there's a lot of stuff you can kind of just get from context, especially if you've played other Pokemon games before. So that wasn't so bad. Um, 
And uh, the other thing that I got was I got Pokemon Emerald. And um, in the UK, Pokemon Emerald had not yet been released. And I did not know this. My dad did not know this. And so I was saying to all my friends, oh, like, isn't Pokemon Emerald amazing? And they were all like, the fuck's Pokemon Emerald? And I'd show them it. They'd be like, what the hell's this? <laughs> Um, and yeah, I just had this Pokemon game that no one else in my country had. Um, and uh, I, it was very confusing. But you may be thinking, how'd you get it? Well, for one, it released at an earlier day, like an earlier date in Japan. I, I went and checked like years later. It did just release at an earlier date. But also, I believe I had either an in-dev or like an experimental copy of the game because... I had a very unfortunate issue. The game, at least from what I can remember, felt pretty whole and pretty complete. It didn't, like, there was nothing I could notice that was super flawed about it. Uh, but, as most people know, the Elite Four is, like, the ultimate goal in uh, in Pokemon. That's, like, the, the, fi the final boss. There's always stuff to do after the Elite Four, but there's, the Elite Four is kind of, like, the end of the game. And that's, that's, where you, that's what you're leveling up your Pokemon towards, essentially. And so I was doing that, and... I had a level 100 Waylord. Uh, I can't remember who else I had in my party, to be honest, but I just remember the Waylord, and it was beautiful. And it took me weeks and weeks of tries to beat the Elite Four, because I was only a kid. It was difficult stuff. Um, and, um, yeah, eventually, I managed to beat it. And I was so happy, ready to uh, go on to, like, the tower and a few of the other things that Emerald had to do after you'd uh, beaten the Elite Four. Well... Here's where here, here's where sadness uh, comes because the version that I had would not let you progress after you finished the game, but instead would completely wipe your save file. So I beat the Elite Four. I felt so happy for all of about ten minutes, and then I booted back up my game again. Well, I didn't boot up my game again. I went I went to like click on my save file, and it was gone. It had just been completely deleted after that point. I no longer had my save. My beautiful, beautiful Waylord baby. I can't believe I got hit there. Uh, my beautiful, beautiful Waylord baby was gone. No more. Forever lost. And I will not lie to you. I cried. I thoroughly, thoroughly cried. Interesting shot. Don't know what this is. Oh, that's decent enough. Lock upgrades aren't that valuable for us, but there you go. Yeah, I uh, I, I definitely cried. That was very upsetting to me. Um, and I, it's, it's, it's like a core memory for me at this point. I just feel such deep sadness whenever I see Waylord. But I also think of him as just like my favorite Pokemon of all time. And he has such like deep lore for me now of why he's my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> Most people are just like, I like Charizard because he looks cool. And I'm not, if, you, if you, your Pokemon is purely based on visuals, that's also fine. But I'm just really happy that I have like a, a proper story for where my favorite Pokemon came from. He was already my favorite before that point, but that just solidified it sort of. That just kind, kind of brought it to the forefront. Um, Let's get going. We're doing pretty well on this challenge so far. We are going to Isaac, so I'm kind of speeding along here. Uh, one moment. Okay, I am back after receiving... A relatively disturbing message from my girlfriend. I received a message that apparently the street next to our house, and next to our flat, someone has been murdered. So that's fun. Casual UK living. Um, she said it's, it's not confirmed yet, but that looks to be what's happened. Which is great. Great. Like, it's not like super close to where we are. It's like a 10-minute walk, 5-minute walk, probably about 5-minute walk from where we are, but that's still quite close. I'm still not very happy about that. Luckily, living in a flat, it's pretty secure here, but still, not the news you want to hear, basically ever. <laughs> By the way, can we just give absolute props to this mushroom fella that's still alive? These traits look really cool. Good respite on those dudes. We, we, we have a very nice army right now. We've also got this, like, void fly thingy. I don't really know what to call this. Also, this guy making some incredibly loud sounds. Also, we've, we've got this dude that's producing thousands of flies, which is rather nice. I 
I like all the flies. I don't like the dude making a ton of noise every time he fires, though. That's rather distracting. Don't know what that noise is. Again, whatever it is, it's kind of scary. Good. Oh my god. Just look at this army we've created here. Oh, dude. I just realized. You see this dude here? The, this, this guy's a tainted enemy. He's going to be strong. I have a lot of HP. Not going to be much that can take him down. Circle protection's pretty nice here. Oh, great. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted. Thank you, game. Give me the bombs. Alright, let's get gone, people. Let's get gone. <laughs> There's just so many flies. There's just so many flies. This is unbelievable. Gap there, one sec. Right, let's continue on with this carnage. This absolute carnage. It's hard to even fathom what's going on here, but I'm enjoying it. Oh, we got another really good enemy there. This guy could easily kill a bunch of our guys because he's invincible, so we need to press these buttons fast. I love this orange dude, although he did just kill himself. Not very happy about that. It's not what I was expecting. But Mushroom Guy's still alive. We've now got this giant blocker dude as well, which is probably going to be pretty good. Smash. Look at that. Good, good. We're we'll beelining it to the boss pretty much every time here. Shops are valuable, but everything else is kind of just like, eh. Our damage and fire rate aren't particularly good, so I'm not really worrying about trying to scale those too much. I'm more just thinking about our fellas, our little friends, and them having a good time. It's all about them. Ow. Here's a shot. Good, good, good. These guys can be pretty problematic because they can hit a lot. Oh, God, that block is so much there. Um, what does this do again? Range and damage. Yeah, that's decent enough for me to take. And I'll take the soul heart as well. Not a lot of damage, but it's something. My character is looking goofy AF right now. I love it. Whoa. There's something spinning around the room at ridiculously high speeds that's charmed. Can you just see its shadow every now and again just zooming on by? It's like in a, a in a, a Roboros pattern, and it's just absolutely going. Where is it? Like, what is it? I don't even know. Whatever it is, it is truly a beautiful spirit. Basically, everything that's like the mushrooms and stuff that are like hearst like where they um, where they uh. Like, can hunker down. They're so powerful. Damn it, the bombs are very good here for us, because that guy's invincible. Invincible until everything else in the room is dead, which is going to take a bit of time. There you go, we got him. We got him. There we go. Oh, nice, it made a bunch of... Those little black ones. Oh, we got another really good enemy here. This guy can eat things. And hello, good old Gish. Try and use circle protection for a bit of extra damage when we can. It's not super reliable for damage. It's better for defense, but still. Gish doesn't really jump that much anymore, so we can use bombs on him way more regularly. He does still jump, as you can see, but it's just not as often. Ow. Some bad hits here. Oh, I tried to get him to walk into that explosive bubble. Didn't quite work. Right. Item-wise, we get this, which I'm going to turn to these two. I'm kind of torn here. Go ahead's pretty good, but the prism... I'm going to take the prism, I think. And we'll check our devil deal here. Unfortunately, it's pretty bad. 
Ooh, that guy looks pretty awesome. The prism, yeah, seems to work here. Right, let's go, let's go. Take these fellas out. Ah! That was a shot that I just could not avoid. Ooh, golden bombs, rather nice. Yeah, definitely looking forward to having charge keys here. Need to get golden hearts unlocked soon as well. God damn, the knockback on these little pin shots is crazy. We're definitely losing some of our oomph now with our damage output. Like, we've, it, it's okay. But... There's definitely a little something to to be yearned for here in terms of our damage. We're not... There's like, we need one more familiar, one more item that's really going to do a lot. That that was great. At least we got refunded for that. Have we got another one of these block guys back? I'm not quite sure where he went before. Need to be careful with our dudes that kill themselves on the uh, fires there. This fat boy is so good because he basically can just never die. Because um, the way he works is he reforms. And unless he gets a ton of damage while reforming, he's never going to die. Which is, is kind of rare to happen. Got a long neck fella here. Sadly, we keep going the wrong way here. And, like, it's nice to see the shop. Oh, dude. It's really annoying that fires deal damage to your, um, to your charmed guys. There's no need for that dude to die there at all. Floor base, uh, floor, floor bosses and mini bosses have increased HP, but also drop more hearts on death. Okay, that would be good if it wasn't hearts. If it was more items, I'd be taking that in a heartbeat. But yeah, unfortunately, big wrong way on our behalf here. Not oh, for God's sake, wrong way again. We do have golden bombs. I could just be skipping these rooms if they're annoying to me. Apparently, that one just didn't end up hitting, and the rooms over anyways. So there you go. Honestly, the flies do such a good job of dealing damage, too. They're, like, kind of suicidal, I'll admit. They're kind of a bit suicidal. But they do a not bad job. It's kind of all... They're kind of more like blue flies than anything. Nice. Yeah, things that spawn near the door are, like, the biggest worry for us. Ow, what the fuck? There's fire everywhere. Okay, the candle dudes produce fire that can hurt me. That's fun. That's going to be really, really good for us. Yeah, those fires that the candle guy's producing can hurt me, which, yeah, not, not, not big on that at all. It's going to cause some serious problems for us in the future, I think. Oh, wait. I think the candle guy died. Okay. I think he died. We're okay. We're all going to be all right. We have one of these bee guys with the stingers. I wonder how they're going to work from room to room. So once they lose the stinger, they die. Okay. He, he does just unfortunately lose his stinger and he's dead. Yeah. Okay. So mum, we're going to have to be really careful with this mum fight here. Because she will stomp and she will kill everything we've ever loved. So basically what we need to do here is stay up at this bit so she doesn't stomp on our mushroom boy. We can still kill our mushroom pretty easily though. If we're not lucky. There you go. We, 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 we survived it. We did it. We get the stapler. I will at least check this out, but I'm super unlikely to take anything that's offered here. Maggie's but Yeah, honestly, why even bother looking to be honest? Why even bother looking? Right, we're making our way to Isaac. We've still got some good good lads on us. Big Boy, Mushroom, and Flyhurst are all still in the mix. They're, they're our, like, golden children. They're, they're the people that will carry us to the ends of this earth. And beyond. The Womb, and, and especially Mum, is where we're most likely to lose 
a large amount of, um, of friends. Just because there's a lot of attacks there. We're going to probably have to rebuild from that point onwards. Especially considering, like, our current setup without familiars is pretty bad. I would like one of those. One of these guys would be ace. No. Did he just kill my mushroom? I think he killed my mushroom. I could you? He, he did. He killed my mushroom. Oh, also my big guy died as well. Okay. We just lost some heavy hitters. We have just lost some really heavy hitters. Things are not looking as good as they once were. Also, this guy with the fires is killing our own. So I don't like that either. Chance for newly spawned item pedestals to be replaced with items you already have. Give that a go. Yeah, he's just killing everything we have. Anything that spawns fire can do self-damage, which I hate. So, until he's gone, we're probably in the shit. Because he's going to be killing off our own. Look at this bullshit. Stop killing my friends. Unfortunately, we went the wrong way as well. Dude, he's just murdered everything we've ever loved. Thank you. Okay, we killed him on the on the red poop. This is another thing. These guys are just going to die to the red poops. Luckily, to be fun honest, most of our things would have just died to this room anyways. So... It is what it is. But we're now having to completely rebuild from nothing. It was bound to happen at some point. I'm just kind of sad it happened now. Duct tape is pretty good here. Um, nice. Now nah, we need to drop it and... Wait for the right timing. Okay, there you go. Prism is in the right spot now. Of course, we've spawned on the wrong side of this boss for this to be useful. But this is better than nothing. Now we can actually get some extra damage out of this. Fortunately, Prism isn't providing us any status effects or anything, but a little less random for us now. Pageant boy. Gotta love it. Don't even need to pick up the money, really. Yeah, I'm a little worried now. I'll be honest. I'm a little worried. We, we had a really good setup going, and it's it's kind of been flushed down the toilet a little bit, hasn't it? The extra health definitely makes me feel better. Oh my god, the knockback. Okay, one of you. Teleporty boys. Oh, you're dead already. Good, good. We need an enemy that produces more enemies. That's that's really what we're looking for here. An enemy that produces more enemies is our friend. Okay, you're just going to kill everything. Nice. God damn it, he spawned a hand. Is that really the enemy that we wanted here? No, it's not. Knockback's nice on this guy. At least these guys are reforming most of the time. Another fire-based enemy, we love that, don't we? The absolute knockback of all this is crazy. Come on, give us something stonking. Hey, that's that that dude's pretty good. He should stay relatively out the way and just throw sides. The sides do good damage. Right, one more of these guys in the corner. Oh, you're still alive. Okay, I see. We're just going to hope these sides do what they should. Eternal Heart's very nice for us here. 
Lanky Boy is not great, but decent enough. Back we go again, because we went the wrong way. Okay, he can throw multiple sides at once. I wasn't aware of that. That is very, very nice. Ooh, big, big grandfather baby thingy. Right, another enemy. Who is our friend today? That's That guy's okay. Anything that's contact damage is a little iffy, but he'll do some damage at least. And we'll see what can survive the Wrath of Mum here. Honestly, the sides are pretty amazing. Right, one last amazing enemy with a brimstone laser, preferably. Nope, it's just ball. Yeah, unfortunately, as you can see, everything has perished. That hurt me, that's good. Keep throwing them out. Every time one of them dies, we get a new one. Bat there. Cheers. I can't get past them tears. Mom, this is racist. I don't even know how you hit me then. Another Eternal Heart there. Lovely. Grab that again. And unfortunately for the last floor, we are rebuilding from scratch, which for the Isaac fight is particularly kind of scary. But we'll see how it goes. The knockback is just so ridiculous. Water Spout Boy, you're fine, you're not great. I mean, it's a hearst. It is an incredibly tiny hearst, so not all that useful, but there you go. Yeah, shoot left if we can. Yeah, and I just realize you're going to weird us out. God damn it, tiny fly. Although. Tiny Fly is firing a lot of Herming shots. Depending on how much health you have, Tiny Fly, unfortunately, you have none. Let me get a sack, goddammit. We're getting some really bad f uh, friends right now. A few that just don't matter all that much to us. We got another flame hopper boy again. Pretty darn useless because he's just gonna kill everything we have. Oh god, this has been frustrating. But it's been a fun challenge though. It's actually been a challenge in some some regards. Sometimes the challenges just aren't challenging. Sometimes they are. I like these ones where they're, they're fun. They got some uniqueness about them, but they also do have an inherent challenge aspect to them. Do not like this room in any way, shape, or form. Holy hell, this room's annoying. I'm gonna bomb you because you're pissing me off. What on earth have we created here? An amalgamation of flesh, which I will call my own. Also, that was a very large dead end. Kill these guys first, because they're annoying. Our amalgamation of flesh is doing a decent job. Hey, we got his little, little cousin. His little friend. Fortunately, went the wrong way again here. I'm just going to bust out. Cannot be asked. 
Okay, this guy's throwing out spiders. I like stuff that throws out other things. I just want to say, there is enemies in this room, so... Gotta find them. Heart there's lovely. Little blob boy is fine. Not great, he's fine. That hit me? God damn it. I tried my hardest to get out of the way of that and just couldn't. Got some sort of teleporting fella. Ooh. You could give me a good item, but you also have some rather rough attacks. And you're probably going to end the life of everything I've ever known and loved, aren't you? My amalgamation of flesh is, is unfortunately perished. The knockback is just wild with this item. Okay, we got him. Soul heart or an item. And of course he gave us the soul heart. Could have done with a with a, a nice old item there after you killing all of my friends, but I suppose it's not that important to you, is it? I do see the tinted rock there. Lovely. Ah, my god. Bad hits. We had one of you brains at one point. You were my friend at one point. I only not return to that state. And you as well. Oh my god. Ooh. That seems very good. If you could stay alive for a little while, my good sir, that would be most lovely. Do that throw up attack again, but on the boss this time. Okay, get to the other side of him. Don't walk into the boss. There you go. Throw your thousands of explosions at him. That's the way. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. I like it. going to be a little tricky from this point onwards because you're going to be killing all my familiars. I think I've got decent enough damage to make this work. You seem to be attached to him. We've got a ghosty there. We've got this fella throwing out all of his herming shots. Don't seem to home, sadly. Seems to stay, stay to their station. Luckily, our guys are doing an okay job at dodging everything here. Okay, that's where he does his damage. Come on, we're so close. Damn it, I just... Oh, no, I actually hit with that bomb. Because I just missed with him. I think I actually just hit with it. There you go. That was a really fun challenge. I enjoyed that one a lot. I hope you guys did as well. That was an absolute blast. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.